Hi guys and welcome to the very first video of getting started with Wagtail. This is the main web page of Wagtail where you can install, play with the code, build your site and get support. Let's click on install the demo. You will be redirected to the GitHub page where there are various steps such as installation via Gitpod, Vagrant, Docker and Virtual EMV. We are first going to launch the Wagtail Bakery demo using Gitpod and then we'll look into how to install it on local machine. So let's get started. So scroll up to the setup with Gitpod page, click on open with Gitpod. You would generally here would be redirected to signing up for Gitpod, but as I have done already. So I won't be and I would be redirected to the starting opening workspace. As loading on the Gitpod demo, here we can open the terminal as this is a VS code inside our browser. And soon we'll see terminal is running various commands to start up the process. Let's wait for it. There you go. There are various extensions which were asking me to sign up, agree, accept or deny. You can either accept or deny. The choice is up to you. I won't be doing any of it. As you can see, it's installing some extensions, some environment variables and some libraries. And then in few minutes, we should be looking at a browser. Okay, there we go. And the browser page launches. Now you can close up the terminal. You can either close this welcome page as well and this file explorer as well. This should be a demo page that should be visible to you when you first launch Wagtail Bakery demo either in your local machine or using Gitpod. Now if you want to go to the admin page, you can either open this page in a new tab or just add a front slash admin where you would be prompted to add username and password which is username is admin and password is change me. When we sign in, we are redirected to the dashboard of Wagtail. This page has 34 pages, 37 images and 0 documents. Let's create some edits. So here as you can see is blog, recipes, breads, about. Where our options are edit, view life. We clicked on edit and now we can edit as many as things as we want to. The image, the introduction and etc things. Let's try to edit the introduction. Let's type in get ready to eat bread. You can either click on save draft or click on publish. You can see the live status and the changes you have made on the web page. When you go back to the web page again, either by clicking on live or by going back to the normal web page, deleting that slash admin. Now, as you can see, here we have got get ready to eat bread. So that's it. 